Hello everyone, I'm Paul McGuire Grimes. Streaming services have become a really great home for independent films with risky ideas. Such is the case for the bold new film Fresh, which is now streaming on Hulu, and I want to talk about it. This is Paul's trip to the movies. If you've ever used dating apps before, you may relate to the beginning of Noah's story in Fresh. She's played by Daisy Edgar Jones, who strikes out on a date with a scarf-wearing hipster and then proceeds to have worse luck chatting on the apps. The whole beginning scene is the quintessential bad date that goes from odd to painfully awkward and then rude by the end. It's the perfect setup for this kind of film. Now, Noah's, though, is excited uh, when she meets Steve, who's played by Sebastian Stan, in the produce section of the grocery store. It's that old-fashioned meat cute, which then gets her excited as he's funny and charming. Her BFF Molly, who's played by Jojo T. Gibbs, thinks she's moving a little too fast, though, when Noah agrees to go on a really quick getaway with Steve. Now, if only Noah had listened to Molly, as she could never have predicted what transpires next and the horrors that lie ahead. Fresh comes from screenwriter Lauren Kahn and director Mimi Cave, who is making her directorial debut. Kahn and Cave take the dating app and dating scene and then blow it up as Fresh takes the audience on a truly bizarre and twisted ride. Now the first 30 minutes or so play like a standard rom-com with a hint of skepticism. In his first scene, Sebastian Stan finds a really good balance of being cute and funny, like I said, but a little creepy as he's trying pretty hard to win Noah over. I then debated if we we're just programmed by society to just instantly see red flags with a guy like this who's flirting in the grocery store, or if this was a specific directorial choice between Mimi Cave and Sebastian Stan. I think Cave wants us to be the best friend in this situation, as we want Noah to be happy in a new relationship, but we're a little on edge. It's 33 minutes in when the opening credits roll, completely flipping the story on its side, going from potential rom-com to twisted thriller, as the title takes on a whole new meaning. It's certainly a bold choice to go there, but one that finds no in a highly compromised state. Daisy Edgar Jones rides a fine line of showing a soft side, knowing that there's a harder edge waiting to pounce at any moment. I always had faith in her as a survivor, that she was just biding her time and concocting her next move very thoughtfully. Sash and Stan is always great with the chaotic, wild energy, and he's proving himself beyond the Marvel Cinematic Universe. This is his third project in 2022, after the 355 and Pam and Tommy. Fresh actually works better than you'd expect, given the control that Mimi Cave uh, gives to this film. There was a restraint on her part to not go overboard or make this this in-your-face, grotesque approach that you could have found maybe under a different filmmaker who was just looking for shock value. This is a wild ride that you need to have a strong stomach for, but one that I think has a pretty strong payoff by the end. I'm giving Fresh 3 out of 5 ticket stubs. If you like my review today, click subscribe on my YouTube channel. I got to talk to Sebastian Sand, not for this, but for the 355, so don't forget to check out that interview. Don't forget to follow my Instagram and Twitter at Paul's Movie Trip, and then go to my website, paulstriptothemovies.com, for even more reviews. Thank you so much for watching my review of Fresh. This is Paul's Trip to the Movies.